Welcome back to the show, everyone. It's still Bibi here, and Hawa here, and Serena here. And you're, of course, listening to Bibi's African Magazine show on Jambo Radio. Okay? We've had a great part one, haven't we? We talked about Netflix making inroads into Africa. They're going to invest heavily into Africa. Amazon on the verge of building a massive headquarters in South Africa and the local people are like, nah, on your bike because they think it's going to be built in indigenous land and they think you should keep that land sacred even though there's going to be economic you know, benefits to it. The people are not happy, so they're in court right now dealing with that. We talked about the young girl in Zimbabwe who is using Taekwondo to you know, talk, get people talking about child marriage and helping young mothers and young people, young girls in her neighborhood be distracted, learn a new skill, learn a new um, way of living and try not to and try to change the local mindset towards child marriage. We talked about what else did we talk about? We talked about the Commerce Islands and how beautiful they are and the fact that they beat Ghana. <laughs> they got Ghana from the of Africa and put them has put them firmly on the map. So we're all gonna be talking about Comoros Islands from now on. And we talked about Nairobi being, you know, being g- awarded the title of best European and best business destination in Africa. So we had a great, great, great part one. We had a beautiful Hara Laka here sharing her opinions with us. And of course, we have the amazing Serena always on point. But now it's time for part two. You've stayed this long. So if you want to join us in the studio, you know what to do. 07542-002891. Call us anytime. 07542-002891. Or just go on the Facebook page, type your message in, and we will read out your message. Right. So as we've done every week during the pandemic, here is a COVID-19 update from both Africa and Scotland. First up, Africa. So, cases of COVID-19 have plummeted in Africa and deaths are declining for the first time since the Omicron-dominated fourth wave of the virus reached its peak, said the UN on Thursday. Describing the 56-day flare-up as Africa's shortest, shortest upsurge yet, the World Health Organization's Africa Regional Office said newly reported cases fell by 20% in the week to Sunday, while notified deaths dropped by 8%. In a statement issued after a week weekly press briefing, the office also said South Africa, where the Omicron variant was first detected, had seen cases trending downwards over the past four weeks. Only North Africa has reported an increase in cases last week with a 55% spike. Wow. Mishido Moeti, the WHO's regional director for Africa, warned, however, the continent has yet to turn the tables on this pandemic. So long as the virus continues to circulate, further pandemic waves are inevitable. Only 10% of African population are fully vaccinated, according to the WHO. A continent with a population of 1.2 billion has been relatively unscathed by the pandemic, reporting only 234,000 deaths from 10.5 million cases, according to AFP tallies. So, that's what we said last week. It was, it's a downward trend. We started this last week, and it's a downward trend, and it's continuing downwards. So, fingers crossed, you know. But I think the fact that we're still not getting vaccinated, vaccinated at a rate we should, people are vaccinated, but the vaccines are not as, you know, widespread as mm-hmm. they should be. They are, the people are going out there in the field and getting vaccinated, but some people have vaccine skepticism. So they're scared of what the vaccines mean or what they will do. Some people just want to take them and some places are just not available. But if we keep on going, vaccinating people and keep doing what we're doing, I think the fact that Africa has done so well throughout this whole pandemic fingers crossed it continues like that okay so we'll have more of an update for you guys next week next up scotland so you'll be happy to know how well this this concerns you <laughs> the day is coming when the use of face masks in scotland school will end clues bombs please Woo! yeah a top government advisor has said the scottish government's national clinical director professor jason leach who has been on the show <laughs> <laughs> said he believed the requirement to wear masks in schools would be withdrawn soon, but he did, not, he did not know when. Professor Leach also said science had now been able to defang COVID and the worst was likely behind us. <clears throat> Excuse me. However, he warned future restrictions could still be needed. Asked about when face masks in school could be discarded, Professor Leach said, I honestly don't know, but that advice will soon follow. He said an education recovery group chaired by the public health expert and government advisor Linda Bold will make recommendations to the government clinici- clinicians about the timing of the removal. He said the group included education and public health experts as well as union and parent representatives. They will give, give us advice to remove them when they think it's appropriate and I think that day is coming, he said. Earlier this week, a leading COVID expert predicted the use of face masks in schools could end in February. Another clues bombs, please. 
As Deputy First Minister John Sweeney said, he hoped the rules would not still be in place when exams start in May. In England, the requirement for masks to be worn were scrapped from Thursday the 20th of January. The guidance on, you, on their use in communal areas in English schools is also expected to be removed shortly. In Scotland, masks must be worn in most indoor spaces, public spaces. They're compulsory for all school staff as well as secondary school pupils and are required in indoor public spaces in universities. They're also required on public transport, in shops and gyms, although they can be temporarily removed when exercising. And they must be worn in pubs and restaurants when not seated and the workplace in communal areas and canteens. So, you happy about that? Yeah, but I still think a lot of people are going to keep wearing them. Uh, that's my, that's my, that's my life right now. Like going for, I don't know when it's going to end. I love my mask. So, are you a mask fan? Um, on situations. Okay, like out when you're outside or no. Um, I mean, like even before, yeah. I never liked being in like crowd buses <laughs> or. No, just because I you see, even when I was like young, when I was going to high school, mm. I really did not like. I really despised getting the bus mm. when it was crowded mm. and there was people coughing Everywhere. next to me and sneezing next to How me. How did you survive this I long without to, masks? I know. I used to take the bus an hour before my school actually start, <laughs> like started. Like I don't want drama. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. So I, I like the mask in that scenario mm. when I feel like everybody's mm. on me, mm. but when it's like a really big open space yes. that is ventilated the thing is for me masks are tricky because i like my, i don't like i don't know how i can't do cloth masks mm -hmm. but i can do the paper masks i can wear paper masks all day i have no problem with that problem is that in a plane like a situation like an airplane mm -hmm. how does that work because you want to be covered in an airplane because it's literally a can of people's germs all around you and you're in there with no escape but at the same time it's such a long flight that yeah. you don't want to wear a mask the whole time. So how does that, like, actually going to Africa or going to America, that's eight-hour flights, you know, at minimum. Mm -hmm. But then planes are, like, the worst because they're pet petri dishes, basically, of germs. So what do you, Sarah, you want to say something? Well, I, I flew a lot the first lockdown. Yeah. Just because... But I, short flights, though. Yeah, short flights. It was mm -hmm. only two, three hours. Those but two, three-hour flights, you... It's enough. ...are really manageable. Yeah. Though. With, the, with also, the mask. Yes, but also I want to say... The fir I don't know how flights are now. Probably mm -hmm. they're busier. Mm -hmm. But I remember flying during the f like mm. 2020. Yes, the airplanes were empty. <laughs> Airports <laughs> were empty. Just go from church. So you were really seat. just wearing the mask for yourself. So Right, no, it's different now. Everybody's traveling now. Yeah, yeah. so now everybody's traveling. Yeah. It would be hot as well. So yes. Everybody's traveling. You want to wear the mask because it's full. Yes. But then it's hotter I, as oh well. So it's more uncomfortable. I don't think I've flown. I haven't flown since the pandemic. Hmm? No, I haven't flown. Have you? You yeah, you've flown? Yeah, yeah. you flown. I haven't flown since. What do you think? Are you wear? Did you wear a mask we on the plane? We had to wear it the whole like eight hours. So how was it? Was it uncomfortable? Was it, it difficult? It, it did kind of get stuffy at points, but then we had breaks because we had to eat. So, so when they brought the food, they like they like you can. Yeah. It's, it's almost like how does that work though? Because like we're eating, <laughs> that's germs are like coming everywhere. Like how does that work anyway? I guess the, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So mm. when I do fly, I'll see how I feel. <laughs> How a long flight with a mask. Um, yeah, but congratulations, you guys might be, you know, losing your mask very soon. Are you going to keep wearing it? Yes. <laughs> it's a great when you have no makeup on. It's the best thing in the world. Like, just put some eyeliner on, put your mask on, go. Nobody knows. <laughs> and then the first thing about masks, I don't know if this has happened to you. You see people, right? If you work with people closely, mm -hmm. you've never seen them without a mask. And you can't you start imagining what they look like. <laughs> and then they take off the mask and you're like, oh. Hey, they show you. They show you. <laughs> You have a, like, uh, to me. I'm like, I thought you were cute. I know. <laughs> and you think someone has a completely different nose, no, and a, mouth, a oh jaw. Oh, God. Like, one particular really? person, I was like, I'd imagine what they look like. When they took off yeah. their mask, I was like, no. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> has that happened to you? No, you, you, you know your friends, what they look like in school. If we're going to a completely new, like, a workplace or mm. somewhere, you see people every single day with the mask on and then suddenly they take off their mask they're like I'm sure even guys it's shocking for guys like like the girl they like you know and they see the mask every day and then one day the funny show that I'm like hmm <laughs> you look different than what I thought better or worse it could be better it could be worse you know there's a particular girl I there's the opposite where was I I did, she took up she was so beautiful 
it was it when we when we traveled to Ireland maybe Serena there was somebody I'm not sure it was she was she I didn't imagine you know and it took, I'm like, oh my God, she's <laughs> stunning, like really, really stunning. And I remember where it was. I remember where it was. Anyway, so congratulations, moving on. <laughs> so let's remember the stuff of the spread starts with all of us, okay? We should always we should all wear our face coverings when we instructed to. Clean your hands and surfaces regularly. Follow social distance guidelines. Self-isolate and book a test if you have COVID-19 symptoms. Get vaccinated once you get the opportunity and please get your booster shots once you get the opportunity okay all right let's relax a little bit here is i don't know if you know this song i don't trust you how well but this is a very popular song played last week gonna play it again this week because apparently people can't get enough of it this is amena and piano by neck tunes and goya menor enjoy